We've spoken to the resident who lives on the first floor of this Derby two-family apartment house where Sunday's homicide took place on a couple of other occasions, but today we did so again because the suspect has been captured. Put your mind more at ease, and I'm sure it puts the family mind at ease, and they can finally uh, get some justice. The downstairs neighbor of Nick Isley and his girlfriend says, quite frankly, he feels guilty. I just wish that I called the police, you know, but I didn't want to start any trouble with your neighbor. He said at about 5 a.m. Sunday, he heard some commotion coming from upstairs. I heard like a bang, like somebody hitting the ground, the floor shook, uh, so it was pretty loud to gain interest. Uh, I heard a girl scream. And he heard arguing as well, but he said occasionally he'd heard that before, so wasn't alarmed. Then after falling back asleep, he woke up just after 10 to an apartment swarmed by cops. And that's when I kind of realized something uh, horrible must have really happened here. But finally, after six days of searching, the manhunt ended Wednesday night. Uh, and then Peter just walked out of the woods, approached them, and they ordered him to the ground. He complied, and they effected the arrest at that point. Shortly after the arrest, attorney Dolan spoke on the phone with his client. The only comment I'll have regarding our, our conversation, I'm not going to talk about the content of our conversation, but, uh, you know, Peter is scared and he was tired last night. You know, he's exhausted. All my years of police work prepares you for some of this, but it's still, you know, it's still tough. Derby's mayor, a longtime Hamden cop, says his community is relieved that Manfredonia has been arrested. But a lot of people were nervous. They broke out their sidearms and their shotguns and they were sleeping by the bed because it was uh, kind of nerve wracking. Jesse says while he feels relief that Manfredonia has been captured, he still has trouble returning home every day. In Derby, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.